I see. My 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 depth of my thinking is way different. That's a gift for me. Me never wear pink yet. No. Unless I wear me not member. I, 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 I've seen you in like a, you know, fuchsia color. Something. What about fuchsia color? Like, what about pink? Me never wear pink. Like a little fuchsia is like a little, you know. No. Girl, either you wear pink or you don't wear pink. Me don't know any itch. Me don't know any itch. It was a little. I wish I had. Me ayo, me ayo. Can't reason for itch. Either you see me not pink or you not see me not pink. It, it not itch not there. Listen, fuchsia, fuchsia, and ladies. Me don't know what you're talking about, fuchsia. Fuchsia, fuchsia itch. Pink you don't know when you saw. Fuchsia is like a pink. Darling, I have never worn pink. So I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, and you never wore pink, but. Okay, you never. Okay, that's true. You never wore pink. That's true. I'm just joking. <laughs> just joking. Okay, so what may I say is now the mm -hmm. influence of um the money and mm -hmm. the influence of style. Will make people lose themselves. So Pac Khan, he just wore full pink suit. Fire. Oh. Holy pa fire. You see me? Okay. And you know why I'm wearing that? Because he feel like say him reach him right out to and him a big star and him can do anything in feel and a style which him can do anything in feel. And he's but, a big star, yeah. He but, can. You know, why we are have a conversation about it now? If the pink was so right, you wouldn't even bring up that. But the whole point of bringing it up is Puff can wear it. So, oh, that means uh, we are validated now if it right or wrong, because Puff can attack man and him wear it. So, why you are saying you would wear it? I don't have a question. You know? But that's not defined if it's right or wrong. He looks cute. I liked it. Yo, I'm going to show you something. I mean, I want this sound disrespectful towards the artist because okay. of the little talk about see? Mm -hmm. You didn't know, sir. Woman, I find nothing wrong with nothing shaky. <laughs> you don't realize that it. All when man rebel and say, but man for stay on one side. Woman say, no, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. Because no. they have a friend. They have a vibe. But but you know, you know, understand. Them Afi Hello? Yeah. Them Afi have a vibe because you are gonna like them vibe because you're a woman and you might act like a woman. So it's like a girl's talk, a girl park. So you might have a vibe to you. But to me, it's a nine. It's disgusting. And then if me and my son I see that it worse or disgusting. It make me want to fight you now. Because my innocent son, see her do that. But my woman I have no problem with you. Because you act just like how she act. You act like a bad bitch. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So, as what I say, woman is a part of the God realm. But you have certain things you're on a weak part. That's why the queen can't exist over the king. Although the queen is very important to the survival of the king. True. Because certain things on the falter, like in accepting that kind of behavior from male, okay. is a falter. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's a big falter. And then, this is one topic I really want to touch. 90% of these females who accept these faggots as friends and as uncles and as brothers impose these faggots on their kids mm -hmm. by bringing them around. And those faggots, perverted in the brain, have different intentions for your kids than what you have for them. Because you have him as an uncle and a friend, as a brother, and say, him not going to do nothing. But in a demented mind when the demon attack to him, him see a little boy bat him as a prize. The minute you sleep around the back, figure up on your phone, say, yo, too much noisiness, and I go around the pool, go talk to him. That person can come back. Your finger already in your son's bottom. Oh my God. Now your son too scared to tell you. When you come up, I came, girl. No, sir. What kind of phone call that? How the boy I tell you, sweet you, sir? And him finger stink. Oh, I'm done. I'm done.
touch your picnic already. Mm. And you'll never know until your picnic cry out one day. Mm. They are not supposed to be around your environment. If you are a batty man, you're supposed to go see him when you got ages or whatever, or when you got a club together. You must never impose them on your children, on your family, because you cannot dictate what's in a homosexual person's mind. It's like a dog. You have a dog, you can't tell so the dog not going to bite your picnic one day. Because it has a brain. It has emotions. It has feelings. It has sensitivity. It mm -hmm. makes its own decision. You can train a dog. You can train a dog to a limit. And as much as you're training, the dog can get up and there's some tired of this shit. Bite up your blood clot. You have to shut You know how much time people have shot them, dog? Uh -huh. How can you have even crocodile on them something? Mm -hmm. Lion on them thing. Why do you think them get crazy sometimes? Because you have them in an enclosed environment and they were really raised to be wild animals in the jungle. So when them natural aura start feel oppressed, you know what them are going to do? Try fight to find the wilderness. The jungle where them the inner them are try to fight to find it. So they will try to tear down the fence, anything. And if you try to stop them, what them are going to do? So when so, yeah. there's a fact, right? For example, there's a faggot and you have a son and you're bringing him around your house every day and you're a female and the only male person in the house other than the faggot is your son. Do you think the fact that he's interested in you or your vagina? He's not attracted to your vagina. He's attracted to your son's butt. Mm -hmm. And his little cotton picking mind is mm -hmm. thinking that your son is probably a virgin. It's like how man take pride in a take girl virginity. Those demented motherfuckers like to turn out straight people. So when you open your door, and Latin, a homosexual, because he's your friend. And because, like you said, he has a vibe. They have a vibe. And he starts <laughs> vibing your son's bottom. Then you're going to be hurt. Oh, how can you do that to my child? He's a demon. He has played with, he has played fire. So, um, I, I think that, you know, with the homosexual community, it's kind of, that's a sticky, sticky subject too. Um, something that we don't like to hear about because you don't like to be on the opposite end of ridicule, you know? So, and it's just not only in my radio life, it's also in my professional life at work. You know, we do not discuss homosexual or homosexual acts. But at work, you're an adult. So if they work at your workplace and you call it that, fine. What I'm saying to you is do not impose or introduce these demons to your family. Okay. You could you could even go to the club with them. You're a female. It's like bitches going out. It's like mm -hmm. girls night out. But what I'm saying to you is so when you have a project to do and you're home and you're like, oh, I'm over by the house. Come by. We could finish up that project here. Mm -hmm. You're being very cruel to your son. Wow. You have some mothers who take it further than that. Mm -hmm. When they go out and leave a gay person for watch them look a baby boy. A lot of females do that. A whole lot of females do that. That's that's very evil. As a parent, if I was running the world, or if I was the president of the United States of America or Jamaica, mm -hmm. I would arrest any female who leaves her son in the care of a gay person. And any woman who leaves her daughter in the care of a lesbian, I would prison them for life. Wow. Because you're destroying your child. When your child gets molested, it's not you who's feeling the pain. You're only going to be hurt because you're a mother. So you're naturally going to hurt because of that, but the child is going to live with that for the rest of their life. They might commit suicide. They might turn vicious killer. They might, you do that, not them. Because they don't walk out there and come invite nobody in the house. Then just come out of the room and come downstairs and see a faggot in the living room. Oh. And mommy say, oh, this is my friend. It's Ray, Ray, Ray. When they see me, I say, Uncle Fish. Oh, my God. And then when they say, Uncle, now, the word uncle 
gives them a sense of security. So you pick me, mm -hmm. drop them guard. Because our uncle, you say, his family. And these are things where people take a light. These are things where people take a light. Not, and they not homosexual people, they molest too. I mean, you know, I just feel like you don't know what a person is thinking, whether they're straight. Right, right. Let me say something. The chance of a straight person molesting your son is probably 30%. The chance of a gay person molesting your son is 70%. Because you already know what about body in like. So how are you going to leave your child vulnerable to that? Mm. Eliminate the risk. Make somebody straight the road where you know say, it's a 50-50 chance that he's not going to molest your people. But you left a known homosexual. What yeah. do you feel, sir? Them are. As we said before, I'm interested in your vagina. That's why you and him can be best friend. Kind of one of you. He's not think you're cute. The most, the most about him on the top where your nails and your ear and something, your girl, your dress on it. You know why you? And your son, but I'm going to watch your husband. Ooh. How I can you go with somebody who want everything where you have? This is what I mean. That's why I mean, you know, woman, female kind of, female strong, but them weak at the same time. How can you accommodate your competition? Hmm. I forgot part of that woman envies her for everything. Everything. To your ear, to your drawers, to your tights, to your man, to your family. Everything you have them on. You, I give blow job, you want give blow job. You have to take good, you want to take good. Mm. Oh, can you be part of this person? How that makes sense? Me not get it. So, I mean... Leaving your child with anybody is a risk. It's dangerous. But what I'm saying is, and no one, no one. Okay. That, that 10 million times more dangerous. Come on. It's like you meet a stranger and you make a drive. And you give them a drive. Then you go, you leave a Connecticut, because they go to New York. You say, yo, big and jump, man, New York coming out of care. They care them. If you see that person up on TV, as America's most wanted, you go blood clot care them. No. Okay. No. One more example, me have to break down for you again. Because, like, you know, I understand. Yes, he's wrong. Yes, wrong everywhere and in everything. But you have to eliminate the possibilities of the wrong happening to you and your kids. Your yes, kids. And I your, do first think job, that... your first job is to protect your household. As yes, a... I do think as a parent, you don't leave your children with anybody. No, but you're not up there. Listen, listen, listen. Tell her this, woman. If you have homosexual friends, mm -hmm. you stay in a your circle, not your family circle. Okay. Meaning, you can go chill with them. You're a big woman. You can mm -hmm. angry yourself. If not arm you, to you, a faggot is harmless. Yeah. To your husband, if not harmless. To your son, in the honest, in see where I want, right? Okay. That's why he can sit down with you and look by your man picture them and say, Ooh, bitch is fine. Where am I tell you that for? True. He's a man. So obviously, I'm ready for where you have. That's true. You understand what I'm saying? It's just yeah. deeper thinking. Not because yeah. society accepts something, means it's right. Can you or some people think, oh, it's legal here. So, do you know that the people who make the laws are sometimes very demented and very evil and very demonic? So what if the ones who are making the laws have an ulterior motive? So because the law says it, you're just going to get up and run with it. Wow. Hmm. I think everybody has, um, you know, their beliefs, and, and it's hard. You listen, what's up? You have to understand. You said, right, your IQ is very high, and you're a very smart person, and, and you have what it takes to understand certain things. Not everybody is like that. So yeah, but that's right. That's right. I mean, I come on a platform like this, I can't submit 
to yeah. what society wants me to submit to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, project what we really need the nation to know. It's yeah. a big difference, you know. That's why I'm mean, gonna sign a contract mm -hmm. and really work with you know, like radio station like that where I got sub you and put a clamp on my mouth. You understand? Cause yeah. them build them build the internet for kinda we you know, like Instagram and them something but we end up kinda it. So the same way them can censor what you say, make you say what more I say to Mm -hmm. And the world here at the same time. See where them want to project them, them, them brainwash. Me can project my truth through the same platform. Yeah. So me have to use it to the best of my ability. So whenever people say, I them think I me want to talk about. Me no want to talk about that girl around there. So when I know if it's sleep, and that mm -hmm. girl, that girl, the man, me not too interested in that no more. Me they, me they pass that something. Yeah. The nation have to wake up. And trust me, I totally understand. And um, you're like I said before, you're very convincing. You have a you have a gift, and I want to see you use it for greatness. And um, you know, keep going. And, and, and you see, you see, you see, we have four hundred and eight people on the live now. But it's more than that. You know, it's more than that. But that's right. the number up okay. yeah. So what I'm saying to you now is, if I can. Win one soul at a time. Mm -hmm. I mean, not a problem. Okay. And I worry about the big excitement one time. If we can win one soul at a time. Can you see the way me talk? They're not going to ever give me a work on NBC. They're not going to ever give me a work on BT. It's not going to So it's these platforms. Mm -hmm. But we don't give away everybody for you is the ton idiot. We have to use and wise up the people at the same time. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I just want to let them man. We have to wake up. Some, all right, it's like them have we in our matrix. I go around, go around. And the people at point to keep up in the matrix. And yeah. the could see behind the matrix is the hunt for the money. Mm. Yeah, the most important thing in America or any international country is your job. Oh, I have to go to work. No matter I have to go to work. That's why them not like hustler and them not like man to sell weed and man to hustle and be the system because you don't have to go to do, to work. Yeah. So you're, you're out of the matrix once you have the money worse if you're smart mm -hmm. and out of the matrix with the cash. You're going to end up becoming an entrepreneur where they can't stop again. Yeah. So that's why them not like it. You understand? That's why they give you so much years if them find you sell weed and I do scamming and Anything where them are used, beat the system. If they find you are doing it, then be a whole by years. But they want everybody afraid of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so remember, say if you have the right amount of money, you're not going to get up and work every minute. You tell the boss to suck him, mother. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to work. But because you need this bread, and if you want to live in a good area, the rent at a certain level. So True. you can sit down. Low income housing come with crime and, and, Whole heap of problem. I, 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 I finance horses come in a good area. Yeah. Less problem. So you want to get to that point. So you have to go to work. And you have to go do a two, three job. So you can't get the focus on waking up as a black person. Yeah. Because you're under the white system. You understand what I'm saying? The white system have you going like a rabbit. Forget this money. Yeah. So you have people like me, people like Ocean Boy, people like Bunty Beanie. Um, people like Venus and Serena, mm -hmm. where God touched them and you have a talent. So you escape the matrix. But most people escape the matrix, don't realize. So they have the power to change the next generation. So they just live out of the matrix, looking into the matrix. Because mm -hmm. they will never come and turn on alive and say the things they are missing. Because they fear what the matrix produced. But then they realize that you are above the matrix. God gave a talent so you're above the matrix. What you gonna do with your shine when you get from God? Oh, you gonna make it worthwhile. Oh, because we're not learning us. Eh? We have ancestors and we are going to be ancestors. Yes, we so, are. So, what you are set to mm -hmm. when you depart the flesh, mm -hmm. what impact you are make with your gift for God gear. So, that's when you depart the flesh, your picnic, which is still you. And your grandpa, which is still you, 
Because the only thing you're connected to forever is your DNA. Mm. And that's another thing you need for research. Jesus don't have a DNA, yeah? So, um, yeah, the only thing you're connected to is your DNA. So mm. you can't connect it to Jesus, no at all. No at all. Jesus not not video there. You need so to start. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna have to do more research to kind yeah, of start. come back and 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 challenge Mr. Futa Height. Right. And start praying to your dead family then. Put up them picture. You tell like a prayer room, put up a picture, them picture. And if you don't have them picture, just remember them name. And when you pray, pray to them and leave Jesus out of it. Ask them for help you, ask them for guide you. Because you are not connected to anything else but your ancestors. Remember, say, nobody knows just pop up boy, you know. Are your parents have to drop you, then you drop your picnic them, then them drop them picnic them. It's, it's ongoing, it never stops. So you're only connected to your DNA. You're not connected to nobody else. Nobody at all. So if you call upon people, ancestors, them can't help you. you know? And your real ancestors, them stand up there and wait for your call upon them. You, know? you never know, somebody that feel like somebody they run you and nobody knows they run you. No. Yeah, you never know your house and you look like you. say, somebody just passed this up. Yeah, man, them did it. You hear sounds in your house, but I don't think it's yeah. that... So, no. because I'm a believer in that, I don't. Um... No, man, sometimes them dead, man. Them dying for your call upon them. They can't wait for your call upon them. But you think that you them dead, it, that's it. That's mm -hmm. not it. And yeah, see you every day, you pack up your prayer, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Send a prayer to Jesus. And Jesus, now have no way to pick up your prayer. Because you're not connected. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't dare if I never your mother and father. They wouldn't dare if I never your granny. They wouldn't dare if I never your great grandfather. They wouldn't dare if I never your great great grandfather. It's a recurring thing. I can't go around it. It's the only thing we're connected to. Only thing. Well, that's a lot to think about. <laughs> that is a lot to think about. And I, I challenge you. So I'm going to do my research. I mean, only research. Honestly. Huh? Your phone is, is doing that thing again. Very good. Yeah, we Okay. All right. I challenge you. But we before you go start. Can you get Huh? Study ancient Kemet, ancient Egypt tonight, and then come tomorrow with her. Ancient Egypt, all right. Mm -hmm. But before yeah. you go tonight, I want to play. I want to play my playlist, okay? Me not have to stay up here, playlist. Why you can't stay? Me I go in We get two and a half hours. So the age a very big so. Remember, say I'm a spirit take care, you know. Remember, say me not right. really do this. You're right. Yeah. So big up yourself. I thank you so much for. What do you read any of energy right there? We got energy radio. Yeah. Yeah, big up the whole CT. Big up Trustman Brilliant, you see me. And big up Corey Cat. My look at Suja, you see me. The whole CT. So speaking of Trustman, he's having a contest, ladies, on Friday. So the best woman to come in and dance to call my number wins two or three hundred dollars. Go on his Instagram and check it out. Um that good in pandemic time, yeah, man. Great look. Yeah, you know he's giving away money to the ladies, but it's the it's the ladies, the lady that danced the baddest and is the most entertaining. So can we go out to number? All right. What's up? Thank you so much. Can I can I just do my little outro before you leave? Two seconds. Came up. Big up Leisha. Big up Energy Radio. Foot out the viral king says a viral thing. You may say. We up on stay up, FHM boss. Out. Perfect. Thank you. All right, baby. Cool. All right. Good night.